What's up guys? Uh, today I'm early in the morning in my little sunroom and I'm here to talk to you about light consumption in plants. It's something that I'm testing in my little sunroom. I found out that during the daytime, of course, the plants they use um, something called photosynthesis to you know gain a lot of their food between the bottom getting the nutrients right and getting the photosynthesis in the upper part that's how they they live plants use photosynthesis and they make starch there. at daytime how they explain at daytime production goes up right the production goes up and then at nighttime the uh they start actually using slowly using that starch that they make during the daytime so it starts like this they start making the photosynthesis they make starch all day they store in it and then at night time they start actually using and consumption you know consuming until the next day and then it starts all over again i was actually looking into ways of producing a little bit of an extra push for my plants and I ran into um, using forensic lights. So this is the one that I purchased at Home Depot, right? I actually use this if you live in a building, like in an area like where you don't have a sunroom. You can actually use this to grow some plants. A lot of trial and error, a lot of trial and error. And it can be frustrating sometimes. Uh, I mean, I'm a beginner garden, so it can be frustrating sometimes. But... It is possible. So, this is my stream beans that I have planted and I have them in the sun room, right? This is my lemon tree. Back here, I have a sweet mint. This is some lettuce, different type of lettuce. This is um, strawberries. This right here is eggplant and also this one is eggplant. This is my tomato plant. Hopefully it gives me lots of tomatoes. That's what I'm praying for. This is peppers. And this right here is ghost peppers. We all make some hot sauce with it. Take it to the feast days. Sharon is Karen. This is more lettuce right here. And this is um, some blueberries. This is a blueberry bush. It's doing really good. I thought it was going to die. And I had transplanted it indoors. And, and it's doing very good. This is my latest addition. This is a cherry tomato. This is like old school. Like kindergarten learning how to see your first plant sprout. Old school. So this is where I went with. And it's doing very good. I, don't, I cannot complain. Also at the Dollar Tree. Uh, my pots, they're from the Dollar Tree. They really like for summer to like put drinks inside of it. But from the Dollar Tree, I purchased this ones. And as you can see, the plant loves it. You see, all of these ones are from the Dollar Tree. All of those is from the Dollar Tree. And um, this ones I actually recycle. <laughs> my palms came in this. I have some palms in the living room, and they came in this. Um, that black one, my blueberry bush came in it and I put my spare, my sweet mint. Uh, this one came in this one. I haven't changed it yet because I like it. And I haven't, I gotta take a look at the roots to see how the roots is doing. But you don't have to go super expensive. Oh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little review and it gives you some ideas of what you could do with your garden. If you have any questions. Please feel free to contact me through Facebook or in YouTube, leave a comment and I will get back at you and I'll tell you about all of my trials and errors that I have done, which I'm always happy to share. I'm, I'm, a, I'm proud of making mistakes, okay? I'm never regretting making a mistake because you always just learn something new and now it's, it takes you to the next level, okay guys? So... Be blessed, stay blessed, shalom.